Thank you for watching, and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. It is not going to feel like this all week. We are going to see big rebounds coming temperature wise, both in the morning and in the afternoon. So in Nashville, you know, today is going to be a, a chilly day. We're starting with the feels like below freezing. We're topping out only in the mid 50s. That is below average. But look at Friday. We're back to the mid 70s and sunny. You're back out in the golf course. You're enjoying life out here with some uh, good looking weather, just like we uh, love it here this time of year. Now, Phoenix, Redding, Sacramento and Reno on the flip side, we're going to be really warm um, to start and we've got some temperatures this week that are going up to record breaking. Look at Phoenix, just two degrees away from this record. What a year we have had. We're coming close in Reno with tying it there. Sacramento, um, or I should say Redding and Reno coming close as well. So the reason this is all happening is because of the jet stream pattern. If you want to blame anyone for this weather, you can blame the jet stream. It's a big dip across the east. That's allowing the cool air to come in. But look how quickly it lifts back out. And then we get zonal flow for a couple of days. And then by the end of the week, we drop down with another big trough here across the west and a ridge building across the east and that's going to be a warming trend for you. So you go above average by the time you get to Friday. The only spot to be below average is a little bit in parts of the west, Jordan. All right. Well, hey, if you excited, guys right, we need to see the change in season sort of ready for the next one once you wrap up one. Um, but let's look at what we have out here because there, of course, comes, you know, the snow brings problems. We've got lake effect snow um, morning. That's just downwind of Lake Erie. You've got a lot of winter weather advisories, you know, the higher terrain from the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania down into West Virginia. We'll see that. And we also have lake, lake effect snow warning off of Lake Ontario as well. You know, this is showing up on the radar. Temperatures are still not super duper cold. Um, and the other key thing is that the ground temperatures aren't as cold to get a lot of accumulation right now. But that's going to change, I think, through today, especially over there into upstate New York, where you have a little higher terrain. So get ready for some big you know, shoveling type snow for you there. That's actually what's happening down. Look at this band coming in to south of here, uh, Buffalo, down through Jamestown and Dunkirk south of you. It's all about the wind direction right here. And as long as we have that that wind going over multiple lakes, you're going to get into some of that bigger moisture like we've been seeing off of uh, Lake Huron and Lake Erie. But then watch Ontario. Once we get that west wind set up, that really starts cranking out the snow for us here as you get that wind, that air that travels right over the entire length of Ontario. And we see that snow coming up. Let me just show you the uh, amounts real quick. That's where we could see 8 to 12 inches of snow. When you go up into the Adirondacks, it gets some higher elevation. And here you go in Syracuse. We change over to all snow by this afternoon. So uh, get ready for a snowy commute home. Now, the Great Lakes create unique weather patterns, including lake effect snow. And meteorologist Carl Parker dives into the causes of lake effect snow and why areas on the eastern side of the Great Lakes are most affected.